Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Real Housewives of Potomac. Today we're talking why Robin got fired from the show. And honestly, I think she was let go uh, prior to this reunion because she gave nothing all season. But nonetheless, uh, you know, there's some clips that have dropped ahead of part one of reunion's episode. And it kind of explains some things because Andy Cohen has clearly had it with his cast. And, and he usually uh, defends the chaos and defends this dysfunction. But even he uh, is fed up, right? So a couple things that happened that really showed why Robin was fired. I know Bravo doesn't like to say, quote unquote, people are fired and like to have the housewives make their own decisions. But basically, if you weren't offered a contract or you got demoted uh, and, and an insulting offer uh, for you to, you know, not even accept, uh, you got fired. But I think they genuinely let Robin go because she had the biggest storyline this season. She had the biggest storyline to really uh, sell it as a housewife, regardless if she was team one or, or team herself. But either way, she completely fumbled all of it, right? She completely fumbled all of it. She completely, you know projected on all of the women anytime they tried to call her out or she would have meltdowns of her own and uh in hopes that they change the subject so it was bad from the start but andy cohen he kicks off this reunion saying listen is anybody going to bring it is anybody going to tell the truth is anybody going to be holding themselves accountable today and, and that was the notice right that was the notice like listen y'all suck this season and if, if this is going to be another, you know, culmination of that, that, that we could just wrap right now. So they did like a, um, a round table of everybody, you know, where they can say yay or nay. And pretty much everyone but Giselle and Robin said that they were going to hold themselves accountable and that they were hoping that everybody else would be honest. But then when it got to Giselle and Robin, they were like, well, I'm hoping other people hold themselves accountable. And I'm like, are we serious right now? This is why this division continues to happen. This is why you are no longer on the show. Because you enable this foolery. You pulled the same nonsense Cherise pulled um, uh, season one where she refused to show her life. She refused to talk about uh, the issues with her, her ex-husband now, Eddie Jordan, and all these things. Uh, she claims it was because she was trying to, you know, have a certain divorce settlement, but the rumor was she had a boyfriend during the divorce and was trying to keep that on the low low. But nonetheless, she thought that her friendship, uh, you know, with Karen and with Robin and Giselle was going to be enough to just keep her around. And that's not how this works, right? You have to contribute something. This is an ensemble cast. This isn't a, uh, you know, dictatorship where you guys are just going to decide, hey, we're just going to go in on one housewife all season. We're going to see if we can destroy their marriage, destroy their reputation, destroy their character, and we could just sit back and watch and eat popcorn. No, 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 no. Uh, so nonetheless, another clip had dropped uh, ahead of the reunion episode tomorrow in which it is about the largest storyline of the season that completely flopped, which is Robin and Juan. And Andy Cohen asking vehemently, do you believe, you know, the stories that Juan is telling you in his explanations regarding the girl from Canada, regarding uh, the assistant basketball coach being at both the laundromat and the nail salon? And Robin basically is like, well... You know, up to my knowledge, nobody can ever be for certain, but I believe Juan. And so, you know, then the question is asked, okay, what does everybody else think? And so everybody else is like, listen, we don't believe Juan. We know Juan is full of it. But the, the fact of the matter is, Robin's, you know, all in on it, right? So it doesn't matter how much we say that this is wrong, this is inappropriate. We think he's lying to her. We think he's playing her. She's going to be 10 toes down for him, no matter what, right? But even she couldn't play that right as a housewife, right? And so nonetheless, I, you know, Andy called out the fact that, you know, since one was a major storyline that completely fumbled, uh, he was not at the reunion. And, and so Robin's like, yeah, I know. And then Juan was invited and blah, blah, blah. And uh, Andy Cohen's like, but yeah, he doesn't have a basketball game. And I was like, oh, I caught that shade. Uh, boy, didn't have a basketball game, doesn't have a job why couldn't he be there sitting behind robin and i 
kudos to Wendy for calling out the nonsense, for calling out the foolery and saying, listen, your husband is at the forefront of the storylines of the season. Your husband is the one here that is in the wrong, that has had questionable behavior with at least two women uh, that he needs to stand on. And he needs to be sitting behind you, defending you and taking his own accountability and saying, you know what? This was inappropriate. I didn't, I was being disrespectful to my wife, X, Y, Z. But instead, you're going to get dragged because you're going to stand by somebody who cannot even show up for you. And when he does show up for you on camera, he finds ways to embarrass you and humiliate you. And you still stand by him, but then you have smoke for the women who call it out. And, and you want to drag these women and claim that they're not real friends and that they're not supportive. They're concerned about you. They tried to stage an intervention the first episode because they were deeply concerned that something was not right. And how hard you were going for Juan and literally Juan sitting up there calling another woman beautiful to your face and you have no reaction. And even Andy Cohen called it out and was like, listen, how, how can you sit there? Oh no, not Andy Cohen, Giselle called it out. I was like, I just have one question. Like, what do you think of uh, Juan saying, you know, that this basketball coach, that she was attractive and all these things. And, and Robin gives this, well, you know, I, I don't think anything happened. You know, it's no big deal. I've seen her before, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this is why you're not on the show anymore. Because you are so nonchalant about Juan. And you have, both of you really fumbled. And, and sabotaged everything you should have been fired when you did the secret wedding outside of the show that really should have been when you got your first set of walking papers right but then to follow it up with all of the one scandals and hide behind the paywall hide behind the podcast and having people pay on patreon to hear you basically say a whole lot of nothing about the hotel situation with the girl from canada in which one still shows up to the hotel to sign the receipt but um and had previous correspondence with this girl but didn't stay at the hotel okay so um you would know uh, regarding the date in question whether or not your husband was home whether or not your husband was there right or, or whether or not he had a basketball game right but clearly he was in the vicinity he was in the area if he had time to go to this hotel and sign a hotel receipt right and, and then to show up multiple times with this basketball coach this female basketball coach what do you need to get your nails done at the salon for and get manny petties for what does that have to do with the basketball team what does that have to do with coaches and x's and o's what does that have to do with anything but again you are so wrapped up in everybody else's marriage and dragging everybody else's down and saying you know what we're just gonna you know zone in on one person this season regardless if the the stuff about their marriage is true or false because then we can sit back and we can just chill and just eat popcorn while they get dragged all season and, and we don't have to contribute anything and i think also giselle is on notice too as much as they try to make her the face of the show and the face of the franchise for Potomac, she is on notice because she no longer has the power that she thought she had in protecting Robin and fighting for Robin to keep coming back on the show. Because I firmly believe that's been the case these past couple of seasons. Because I believe for a few seasons now they have been wanting to get rid of Robin, but they have been wanting to also appease Giselle. But it gets to a point where if you're not going to contribute or your contribution is isolating yourself from the rest of the group uh, to where it gets to the point that even Candace doesn't even want to come back to the show, uh, you, you, you've you made the show unwatchable. But Giselle's on notice because for the first time she lost her first chair at the reunion and really the storyline she's been giving has been a whole lot of nothing yes she's willing to be messy and give the producers what they want in terms of instigating drama with the other ladies and setting up storylines involving the other ladies but you are not contributing anything to us the only really thing you contributed was your daughter going um to college and stuff but outside of that uh nobody believed your boyfriend's story nobody believed all these other shenanigans and that's the issue if you have nothing real to tell us if you have nothing real going on in your life why are you on the show and if you're not going to tell us the real that is going on in your life why are you on the show why do you feel you deserve a six-figure check if you're going to mail it in to us and that's why robin's gone 
because she's been mailing it in for several seasons. She pulled a Cherise where she thought she could get away with not telling her truth. Whether it was Team One or Team Robin, she could have sold it if she was a true housewife. She could have sold either angle if she was Team herself and she should have been dragging her husband and telling him, you're not about to disrespect me and humiliate me on camera and I'm the reason that you're here. I'm the only person here with the check. But to act ignorant like this on somebody who previously cheated on you, uh, that caused the first divorce to happen, that previously called another woman while he was overseas the love of his life, and you still want to go to bat for this man who can't show up for you in any capacity, and you're going this hard in the paint for him, and he is telling you, basically, you're on your own, even though it's his dirty deeds that is the focus of all of this, and you you can't do anything with that you can't work with any of this to convince him hey uh if you do not show up to the reunion uh we don't have a job we don't have any income anymore but no right no you you didn't want to play ball you thought that you know keeping giselle as a crutch keeping giselle as your mouthpiece and, and you know being the one to defend you to the network and all these things that you could still have this alliance you thought you were safe and I think that's why it has taken Robin so long to uh, speak out or to confirm her departure from the show because I honestly believe she's shell-shocked. I honestly think that she had no idea that she was going to be let go like this. I, I truly believe she thought that even if she mailed it in like she did at the reunion, that, uh, that it was going to be enough to keep her. And she got a rude awakening, right? So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts about this. What do you guys think of um, Robin showing, at least in a couple of these clips, why she's no longer on the show? I still stand by. She probably was fired even before the reunion, uh, which could also explain why she just didn't care at that point. Uh, but nonetheless, what do you think of, you know, based on these clips and based on what this reunion part one is going to show of Robin fumbling, having the main storyline this season and giving everyone nothing, absolutely nothing to work with? which made everything a standstill, which made everything stagnant, and even the lesser storylines ended up becoming the main storylines because you couldn't contribute, you couldn't pull through, and there's no excuse because you had been on the show since the beginning, so you knew how this worked, but you thought that you could get away with it, and you effed around and found out. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.